How could you put MSG in a Branzino? It's powder form. It looks like cocaine. What is cocaine? Because <laughs> <laughs> no one in the restaurant industry knows anything about cocaine. <laughs> I'm Chef Elisa Reynolds, owner of My Two Cents in Los Angeles, California. Growing up, food was pretty much traditional. We had pork chops on Thursdays, meatloafs on Wednesday. My uncles, everybody has diabetes and there's all this stuff around me. So I started thinking about health in America. I started cultivating these ideas of evolved nostalgia happy food, you know, belly food. Like rooted in tradition, rooted in that part of your belly that makes you happy, but then lightening it up with modern techniques. You know, conscious comfort food. What if there's a vegan hipster that wants to eat with their grandmother from the South? Where can they go and eat together? You know, what if there was a person with celiacs that can have fried chicken and mac and cheese? This is brown rice and quinoa noodle, gluten-free cheese sauce. I think becoming a chef decided me. I was working in production. I didn't feel the passion in it, and I'm really passionate about cooking. So a friend of mine said, hey, my dad's a chef. Should give him a call, see what he thinks. I called him up. I said, hey, I'm thinking about becoming a chef. He's like, you're too old, you're black, you're a woman. I wouldn't do it. So I said, you know what? Fuck that, I'm gonna do it. He's like, I don't wanna train you. You can call my friend David Burke. So I called Chef David Burke up. And he said, come down. I had no idea that his kitchen was like one of the top kitchens in New York. He was just a name. And once I went to train with him, my whole perspective of food completely changed. Shrimp and grits, it's more of an East Coast thing. So I was like, I want to do something that brings the East to the West as far as like a soul food or a country dish. But I want to spin it off with a Bermonte, which is a French butter sauce, and add the traditional Creole sauce, which is peppers and all this kind of goodness mixed and stewed. The difference is I made my Creole sauce vegan and I made my grits gluten-free. I used to cook for celebrities such as Ben Stiller, Common, Barack Obama, so many people. I would imagine it's like doing their hair. You become the shoulder that they cry on. You become their mother, their binky. Where are you? My stomach hurts. You have to come to France with me. I can't eat the food anymore. It becomes a little bit of that. It's great to feel needed, believe me. But the celebrities would find out which one and they would like, well, why do you have to go to him? And why do you, oh, she's feeding you. So it became this whole thing. And it's like, it felt like I had lovers without the sex. My sister is a great, huge part of this restaurant. She does all the desserts. And I took a lot of the, the traditional things from a soul food perspective from her because she was the cook of the family. And when I started to develop this idea and share it with her, she was like, well, what is this gonna be, a vegan restaurant? She thought that just like everybody else, if it's vegan, it tastes gross. When I opened this restaurant, I didn't want to do no stamping, gluten-free and vegan all over the place. Doing the opposite of what people would think I should do, especially if I have all this vegan stuff on the menu. But I think the less you tell people and the more they get into the product and the vibe that you're giving, they're more willing to like be surprised by it. Gregorio, this is my right hand and he cooks like an old black lady now. My guy. <laughs> I'm constantly, constantly proving myself as a woman chef, as a woman boss, as a woman, period. Even hiring men, it's a problem. I hire cooks, they try to test me the first week. Then I'm like, I'll cut you. And they're like, okay. Yes, chef. I never leave my restaurant. I cook every day, both shifts. If you wanna be a chef and own your restaurant, it's not for any punk bitches, for real. Maisha Long is one of my best friends. She's always been a fashion guru and a diva. Steven is super creative. He helped me so much in this restaurant. He's a creative director. You guys want anything before you walk? Some rides. Yes. Can we get rides for the road? Let's do it. Bye, you guys. Bye, my baby. I'll be back. 
living in New York, there was always something about a small restaurant in the neighborhood. It kind of brought community together. And I love places that feel like home to people that live around them. That's why I'm going to Canada. It feels like home. Hello, chef. How are you? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. I hope you have a good dinner. Chef Karina and I go back before both of us had restaurants. She does so much great work with that feel of nostalgia, but in a French technique. My name is Karina Weibel, and I'm the chef and owner of Canale Restaurant in Atwater Village. Canale is a neighborhood restaurant. It's 100% farmer's market driven, and it's Mediterranean influenced. I feel like it's guerrilla open restaurant, because we got this restaurant, we didn't have any money, and we just opened it up, and we just went with what we had. And our neighbors, they've been supporting us for eight years now since we opened, and everybody knows each other because they've been coming here for such a long time. Doesn't it feel like you're in somebody's home? It's special. Open kitchen, small neighborhood. I love LA for its pockets, right? What do you work for the city? Give this motherfucker the drink menu, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Popping bottles, <laughs> yes. Yeah. The clams were in a wonderful saffron broth. I love the contrast within the saffron and the fennel. Why don't you like mayonnaise? It reminds her of cum. I prefer cum to mayonnaise. Oh, it, Ooh, it reminds her of the lack of. Oh, yeah. The persimmon salad knocked me out. The salad's beautiful. The persimmons, the pomegranate. I love the winteriness of the salad, but it's still very California. Yeah. The chicken liver pate, it tasted like it was in a smoker, and it was so good. But I think the star of the night was the salted bronzino. It was cooked perfectly. I mean, it really made you feel like you were somewhere else. This is like having a salt scrub at the spa. Are you gonna cut it? Because I don't like the eyeballs. I love the eyeballs. I eat at least eight to 10 trout eyeballs a day. That's... At least one. They're full of protein. I'd like to see the statistics oh, on that. Oh, that's pretty. It was just clean. And most of the time, what I get off on is like simply delicious. The delicacy is the, the cheeks. Look how little his face is. It's a pretty fish. It's delicious. You should have the head. No. He has some at home. I'm going home early, don't you worry. <laughs> the rosé, the food, I'm feeling amazing. Cheers. Cheers. To Canale, to Karina, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank, Thank you. Chef. you. So we're like headed to have tacos and hopefully get buzzed. We have to stop and feed my baby. Did you feed him in the morning? Yes. He's, he's fine. fine. This place we're going to now, Escuelas, a friend of mine, Steve, owns. And your dog, during this time, is probably going to lay in different areas of your home, stare at the front door, and wait for you to come oh, home. Oh, Lise, don't say that. That's so mean. That's no, what that's dogs what dogs do. do. What do you think he's doing? Uh, the computer. Yeah. <laughs> Surfing board. Yeah. He's gay. So he's looking at the same sites I'm looking at. <laughs> Really? Yeah, absolutely. I love gay porn. I know. It's you like gay porn? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got some good ones for you. I know. Steven is the best. When we got to Escuela last night, I was excited. His place was packed. And I was ready to, like, tear in. I just love the design and how he did everything inside of his restaurant just like I did. Steve is an old friend of mine. He grew up in his family's restaurant where they made traditional Mexican cuisine. He's kind of taken that and spun it all the way around. There he is. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. belated Thank birthday. Thank you so much. Escuela is in the house. Two cents is in the house. <laughs> Escuela is the house. Is the house, exactly. <laughs> and the next thing you know, we got a platter of tacos. And I was really excited. So we just dug in. We had prosciutto tacos, shrimp tacos, pork chop tacos. We had lagostino with uh, grilled pineapple tacos. Oh, that one's nice with that grilled pineapple. Mm. My favorite would be the bronzino taco, as if I needed more bronzino that night, but in a taco form, it was amazing. Mm. I think we killed this one. Tacos, check. To Escuela, second down, guys. When we leave Escuela, Steven's gonna burst if he doesn't have a real cocktail. All right, let's drink. We were in the shot kind of mood. Shot, 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 
shot. I'm like, let's head to Bar Stella. Bar Stella is one of the sexiest bars in LA. The owner of Cafe Stella is a friend of mine, Gareth Kantner. This is the last text that Gareth sent me two days ago. Tonight at the bar, Brazilian carnival bitches. Okay. I can't wait to get in here and get me a drink. He has this amazing cocktail that I love. That's champagne and Saint Germain mixed with a lemon topping. I had a few. That's nice That's and nice sweet. And it's yeah. pretty. Maisha. Okay. It's time for bar talk. Okay. Let's talk about your titties. Oh, okay. We How are they? Well. And let's talk about your outfit. What are your sneakers, Vans? How dare you? Let's toast. To looking good. To designer. <laughs> I'm ready to get turned up in my two cents. Another cigarette and then we'll leave. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Are you good with your whiskey? You want another shot? Are we doing shots? I'll do a shot. This is to a very good food tour okay. in LA. Yes. With good friends. Yes. Good food. Yes. New and old places. Absolutely. Good night. Good night. Good but night. then we gotta go make some snacks. Make some snacks. Okay, Let's get cool. the snacks okay. in. Let's get it. <laughs> Woo! Bye, Barstella. At this point, we need balance. That was good. That last shot like gave me some energy. Now I need something to soak it up. We're drinking more. Okay. And let's more do it. and more and more. Okay, settle down. Watch this. <laughs> I'm really happy about the night and the places I chose because they kind of feel dear to the heart. Nothing was fancy, everything was perfect. Everything was authentic. The food was great. The hidden gems and their staples of their neighborhood. They have this modern nostalgic feel and I think it comes from a real love for food. Hey guys, we are close. We're close. I'm oh, feeling shit. my what two cents-ish. Welcome! Welcome! Hey! I'm like, ready to see my friends, ready to embrace, and just everybody is like, yes, let's go. One of my cooks was there, Davin. Just do what you can do. Cornmeal? Yeah. He's high most of the time, so munchies is like one of his specialties. I'm feeling like a fried shrimp grilled cheese sandwich. It's a simple thing you can do, completely inebriated. Middle of the night, buzzed. At some point, I think I added bacon to my shrimp, which was a nice touch. Shit's getting real. Midnight snack for the gods. The drunk gods. Who's down for fried shrimp grilled cheese sandwich? Hey! I want to thank everybody, my closest Compadres here, coming out, supporting, having late night munchies in the middle of the night with me. Thank you guys so much. Cheers! Hey! My night out was the best night I've had in two years. Fun, happiness, love. You couldn't ask for anything more. I love you guys, for real. Love you too. Mwah. Mwah. Thanks for eating a hole in LA with me. I think food is the best thing that brings people together. I want to spread my two cents love all over the world. What I do is about people, love, the ability to inspire people through your food, to make them happy, to be a mood changer, is completely why I'm in this business, why I cook. It's all about love. <laughs>